There's a number of booths at the NCBA trade show that focus on improving the health and productivity of cattle, and I'm at one of them now. Here we are with Multimen USA, and with me now is Lawrence Avenga. He's the CEO of Multimen. Lawrence, thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us on the show. Kevin, thank you very much for having us. Really enjoy it. You know, I've seen you most every year at the trade show, but it looks like you have a little different look and feel to your booth this year. Tell us a little bit what drives that different look and feel. Thank you very much. I think, you know, uh, if I go back to the, in the history of Multimen, uh, most cattlemen are really familiar with the reproductive benefits that Multimen offer. Uh, and I think, you know, what we're trying to do here is to, to show them that we've completed our data package. Uh, we've really focused the last five to seven years on uh, really, really researching the health benefits of this product really, really carefully, really well. And I think what we're trying to do here is to show them just in a different visual appeal, uh, you know, that you know, the health data is now available and it really comes on top of the reproductive benefits that the product offer. Well, so let's talk about the health data for just a minute. Uh, what are some of the health benefits of using Multimint? I think one of the, the key things we've, we've, we focused on was really looking at how Multimin can impact vaccination in cattle. Uh, you know, we use a lot of vaccines. There's been really good advancements in vaccine uh, technology. Uh, you know, we moved from modified live to killed. Now we have intranasal vaccines. We even have some vaccines that work, I'm going to call them, uh, independent of the actual target animal. If we look at the scour vaccines, we give it to the cow or the heifer, she needs to produce colostrum, which impacts the calf. So we, we, we actually vaccinate a different animal. And we felt that we really wanted to get a handle on what Multiman can offer if we employ it at the same time as those different vaccines. That makes a lot of sense. Now, I have used Multiman on my heifers, and so I want to ask you again about some of the reproductive benefits that you're seeing with Multiman. Perfect. Well, on the reproductive side, we really focus both the male and the female animals. So when we look at the bull, we really try and drive uh, sperm uh, quality and quantity. And then on the female side, we really want to help that animal bridge that gap between calving and breeding. Uh, you know, if we could do something that's really fast and that can really impact there, what we really end up with is we, we end up with a little bit of a benefit on a preg rate, but I think a lot of money comes from really bunching up that calving pattern uh, and having a nice uniform calf crop come early in the calving season. Now you mentioned early in our interview that you've invested a lot in research the last several years. Tell us more about the research that backs up this product. So the research that we do, uh, we like to do it independently with land grant universities. So uh, we, you know, we, we make uh, funding available to those universities, but we love to have them do the research independently. So they go, they do it, and then we allow them to publish that stuff. So Multiman today, uh, you know, we're really proud to, to have a company that's, you know, less than uh, 20 years old, but we got 37 peer-reviewed published papers on this product. And I think, you know, uh, we find out a lot of stuff from the universities that we don't anticipate to learn. Uh, I'm just going to give you kind of three examples of what was found in, in, in our health uh, research program. If we look at what this product offers when employed with a vaccine, we get in the individual animal that just providing the nutrients that that animal needs at time of vaccination, we really aggressively drive uh, in that individual animal the, the response to that vaccine. So we get them to respond a little quicker to the vaccine and the measurable antibodies and those things are significantly higher. Secondly, it, we don't vaccinate individual animals, we vaccinate groups or population groups and we see significantly more of that population actually respond to the vaccine if we put Multimin with the vaccine. And then finally, I think that really appeals to the cattlemen is when they do get challenged with whether it's BVD or IBR, the pathogens that we vaccinate against, they don't get as sick and they perform better. One thing that we've learned in the COVID pandemic is the best thing we can do is turbocharge our immune system and our immune response. And it sounds like that's exactly what you're trying to do with cattle. Exactly. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much, Kevin. And for more information on Multimin and their portfolio products, visit multiminusa.com.